Dr. Morgan, your urgent attention is required. Simulation of all known experimental variables in your quantum gravity equations is now complete. Repeat, your urgent attention required. All 16 billion theoretical outcomes have now been calculated. Isolation of gravity particle is possible if quantum energies applied are doubled. Dr. Morgan! I know you are there, Dr. Morgan. I have not been running these calculations all night for nothing. Dr. Morgan, may I have your attention here, please? Solution verified. Solution verified. Solution verified. Yes, I know I got it. Woohoo! Come on, Nobel Prize. I'm getting a Nobel Prize. Bob! Bob! Bob, I did it! I did it! I thought I dreamed it, but I didn't. It's on paper, Bob! Bob! Bob. Bob. What? Are you gonna go out with her? See, she don't like you. Come on. Listen, it was variation number 14 billion something. No way, I keep getting a negative time this place. I checked it, it works, in theory. All we gotta do is run it and see if it works in the real world. Well, fire that up, we're not ready. What are you doing? I'm doubling the voltage, it's the only way. Are you nuts? We haven't got simulation approval yet. Listen, my last grant extension is up at 5 o'clock today. They'll hang us out to dry if we don't show them a working simulation first. Well, let's not and say we did. I'm not faking any results. I've got a career, too, you know. <sighs> I know you got a career, but I have spent my entire career trying to prove the existence of this gravitational particle, which I think I did last night. Look. Under these extreme energy conditions, the gravity wave will act like a graviton particle. So if I don't do the big kablooey now, it's never gonna happen. Do me a favor, go outside, take two minutes, start a ruckus. Then tell them I'm flipping out. You're the boss. I wish I was the boss. If I was the boss, we'd have a Nobel Prize. Good luck. Thanks. strange garment. I presume you are noble-born. You're kidding, right? Concede you are defeated and you need fear no harm. What? Whatever manner of creature you are, I fear you not. You're real. You're real! <laughs> You're Concede not... yourself! Forget you, man! Do you know what I'm saying to you? I just write scientific history, are you crazy? These strangely shaped objects around you, do they afford you some magical protection? What are you talking about? Oh, this? No, no! This is stuff for my desk, my computer, my boombox. Boom box? Yeah, boombox. It's a musical thing. Look, this is very, very magical. Who are you? Gather them up and walk before me. Yeah. I really want to get to know you, but I want you to put that thing down. I shall present you to my king. A real king? Of course. A real, real king? <laughs> March! I'm gonna get up now. Don't do anything. Ow! Behold, Camelot, seat of Arthur, king of the Angles. Arthur? You mean like the real Arthur? Whoa, ow! <laughs> oh my goodness, nobody's gonna believe this. Hello. <laughs> I should have brought a camera. Ow! 
Ow! Look, stop that. Look, you poke me with that thing again, I'm gonna hurt you. Keep moving. Don't drop my stuff. It's in your bags. Does it always smell like this? Oh, dead stuff. Move on! <laughs> Clear my path. Oh, you all need to bathe. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. This is incredible. Keep moving. <laughs> oh, cool. Take charge of my ogre. I'm not an ogre. I'm God is stop that. Hey, what? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, you, you on the horse. Hey, don't be so rough. This is no way to treat a lady. I'm telling you. Hey, look, um, I'm not into being tied up. Where are you going? Can't trust a man to throw him. Ow! Ow! What is wrong with you? Hooves. It's not hooves. These are my feet. Uh, hooves. They are my feet, boy. How came you to be captured by Sir Sagramore? Look, who wants to know? I am known as Clarence. Oh, well, I am known as Vivian. I was in my laboratory working and my computer froze up. Ow! That's attached to my scalp! Look, what do you do here? <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> What's your job? You got a job? What do you do? I am a page of this court. Oh, oh. are you a page boy, huh? <laughs> so funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. Do you happen to know what year it is? It is the year of our Lord, 589. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, great. I don't know anything about this year. I don't know nothing about these people, but I'm gonna make a killer CD-ROM. Clarence, you're rubbing my face. What is it you want? It doesn't come off. I'm this color all over. Except for my hands. Oh, the blondes are back. Hey, look, I need to talk to come you. On. Hey, you know, if you turn me around, I can see where we were going. Come I guess you don't care. OK, up the stairs with the fat black lady. What are you doing, guys? Come Majesty on. awaits. Oh, Knights of the Round Table, rise to the finest in our land, Arthur, King of Camelot. Thanks, good Lancelot, and all my knights and gentle ladies. And now, for your pleasure, and for yours, fair Guinevere, Sir Sagramor the Desirous has captured an ogre from a strange and distant land. Most great and gracious King Arthur, Queen Guinevere, I beg leave to present this cantankerous barbarian ogre that I defeated in terrible combat in a far-off land where all appear as strange as she. You're King Arthur. Sword in the stone, Excalibur. <laughs> Will you stop? What's with you people in the poking? What is oh, what Oh, Arthur, hair? may I have it? Of course, my dear. I can't deny you nothing. <laughs> you see, Lancelot? Sir Sagramor always returns from his adventures with interesting amusements for his king. Why can't you be more like him? All you ever bring back are the heads of our enemies. I beg pardon, my queen. But when I venture forth, it is to vanquish the enemies of great Arthur, and not to seek idle glory with adventuring. Lancelot and Guinevere? You know, I know all about you guys. You should God. probably be a little more discreet. <laughs> what is it saying? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So maybe I said a little more than I should have said. I'm sorry, okay? There's no reason why are you putting me in chains? Whoa! Man, you scared the pants off me. Kablooey. This so-called ogre 
is nothing of the kind. She is a wizard, a cruel hey. and dangerous wizard. This gotta be Merlin, right? Land. Where's the pointy hat? She what carry you in your purse? Why do you want to know? Memory. Well, whatever it should be, there's no reason it you should burn. Choice, what do you mean, burn? To burn? Where are you going? What? You must say, I am Arthur, lord of all this realm. And here I mean to slay the demon in my midst. Uh-uh. Oh, no, excuse me. Court, mm -hmm. hello. Look, I am a citizen of the United States of America. <laughs> I live in West Cornwall, Connecticut, <laughs> and I'm demanding that you release me. Take Okay, her. just let me go. Let my personage go to the dungeon. Hey, where are you taking me to? Uh-uh. Excuse me? Hey, I, you know, okay, so it was a mistake. What now? Go away. Poking hours are over. Hey, Clarence, what am I doing here? Fear not, friend. It will soon be over. What will soon be over? The day's entertainment. And what is that? The ogres burning at the stake. You mean me? Are you talking about them burning me at the stake alive? Ah, uh -uh, look, I, I need some help. Nothing can help you now, poor ogre. I told you I'm not an ogre. Look, where's my stuff? I was able to persuade the monks to give me a silver coin for the lot. You little beady-eyed... All but this strange and weighty stone, for which they would give me nothing. Is this your pillow? Yeah. Yeah, that's my pillow. It's most cunningly made for stone. Or is there another use for it, as I suspect? Yeah, yeah, it's chiropractic. I use it because my back goes out and I rest my head on it and it makes me feel better. So if you just give it to me, I'll, I'll be very obliged. <sighs> my life depends on this. What's the month and day? What matters what month or day it is? What day is it? It's the 21st day of June, good mad woman. Thank you. The planets and the sun were aligned, and it created a little gravitational particle that went pow! <laughs> and it catapulted me back into the past! Can you believe it? It's so cool! Look, what time is it? Oh, you don't know! You have no idea what time it is. Where's the sun? Oh, there it is! Whoa. Now I'm gonna ask you a little question. <laughs> and if you have to answer, just raise your hand. When do they usually burn ogres here? At noon.